When you're sitting there talking to somebody who has killed thousands of people and, you know, he tells a joke and you laugh and you, you see him as a human being, it's, I mean, it's, it's a really disconcerting experience. My name's Eric Strauss. And I'm Danielle Anastasian. We directed The Redemption of General Butt Naked, which is in the U.S. documentary competition. General Butt Naked was a, a notorious warlord during Liberia's 14-year civil war who committed I mean, massive atrocities. He was a man who fought naked. That's where he got his name. He fought, you know, stripped down naked with a, with a machine gun and boots, basically, and a cutlass, and led a group of naked child soldiers called the Butt Naked Battalion. At the height of his power during the war, he had a profound religious conversion happen to him, and he embraced Christianity, and he laid down his weapons, and he walked away from the, from the front line and from violence and has since attempted to reinvent himself as a Christian evangelist. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill your brain. You know that's war. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I beg you. Forgive me. No, no, don't just go like that. I beg you. I beg you, sir. I'm already happy. I kill your brother out of madness, but please, I will be able to play the better for you. We want people to be able to watch this film and really decide for themselves whether, whether or not they believe in his transformation and whether or not they think that he's genuine. You get to see a very extreme story, someone who has committed unthinkable atrocities, um, who is now completely trying to right the wrongs of his past and go in a new direction. And I think the film really forces you to ask your, yourself, what is my own tolerance for personal reinvention? One of the things that we intended to do with the film was really take viewers on an ex on, sort of on a journey that mirrored the process that we went through as filmmakers. Issues of justice, issues of personal change, issues of redemption and reconciliation and forgiveness. These are universal. It could have happened in West Africa. It could have happened in Eastern Europe. It could have happened in the United States. And I think that General But Naked represented a character whose story was infused with all these universal themes for us. Danielle and I, you know, this story, we're extremely passionate about this story and we want people to see this and wrestle with the same issues that we wrestled with and have been fascinated by. And, you know, to have the opportunity to present our film and to premiere at a festival like Sundance was just an incredibly humbling honor. Mm -hmm.